Welcome back everybody. So today is day eight of the beer advent tree. Uh, I did pour it and the dog started going crazy down by the camera. So I had to make sure everything was still set. So I just did the intro again. I just poured it. I haven't even drank it. So this is Juice Bomb by Sloop uh, Brewing. Um, the first one I had from them was No Santa, and Kyle did send this one also from No Hype Beer Reviews. Uh, no Hype Beer Reviews and 21090 sent beers to Jessica, and she made this. I didn't know until I got it that they sent beer and she was making it. Um, so it was a surprise, and this is day eight. Uh, so on the can, it does have the 6.5% ABV. They are calling this uh, India Pale Ale, um, Juice Bomb, all the citrusy, juicy flavors of American hops. Uh, canned on date is 11 21 18, so about five weeks old. Uh, Untapped is saying this is a New England IPA. Cool can. It does have... A orange that's cut into a bomb so my guess is we are gonna get big citrus flavors uh, but like I said I did pour it I didn't smell it nothing like that before the dog started going crazy what head we do have left is white it's almost like if you took orange juice and shook it up real hard and then poured it into a glass that's like the white layer that I'm seeing the bubbles are very small uh, that are left. I do have a couple medium on the side. Uh, color is very orange juice, uh, maybe a little bit lighter than orange juice, maybe a little bit watered down, very hazy. I can't see through this thing at all. Uh, let's go ahead and get a smell. Dank hops, dank citrus hops. Almost like a candied citrus, like candied orange, because I'm going to say that because that's what's on the can. Like a candied sweetness, orange, dank smell. Smells good. Let's go ahead and taste. Little bit of citrus, sweetness up front. Dank hops, like fresh pulled from the vine hop. Very smooth. Not a lot of bitterness in this one at all. Just nice, subtle, sweet citrus dank and gone aftertaste is more of like a bitter rind from an orange yeah not nothing's really sticking out to me like usually in these you're going to get at least what I get in a very good New England IPA is almost like a yeast taste or like a yeast taste mis mixed with a juice bomb or something like that. I really don't get that out of this. It's more subtle. I do get some juice in there now, but yeah, sweet citrus with a tiny bit of juice up front goes back into like a dank hop then aftertaste is more of that bitter that rind bitterness in there very smooth medium body i would probably have to go with a four out of five on this one I want a little bit more like if this I, I don't know what the cost of this is but this is one like 
I'm not. I'm. I'm just saying. Like M43, I would drink, you know, all the time. I could see this being one just to drink all the time because it's not really gonna wreck your palate, but it's something you can drink. Because like some four packs, six packs, as you get into them, you just don't want that same flavor over and over. And this is kind of on the light side where you know you're drinking it, it's got some flavor, but it's not really punching you in your face or something so sweet that you'd be like, okay, one and I'm done. I could drink a four pack, six pack of this just fine. Good head on that last pour that I did um, put into the glass. I'm starting to get some peaks and valleys uh, from the bubbles and stuff. Yeah, solid four out of five on this one. If we check on tap, five of my friends have had this, average 4.05 out of five. 36,000 people have rated this, average 4.04. .04. So for that many people to rate it a little over a four, definitely, if you're into New England IPAs or beers like this, definitely one to pick up and try. Um, and nobody left. Juicy IPA and burrito. Good combination. Okay. Light, crispy, little juicy. That, you know, that's kind of what I would say, but I think it brings a little bit more. I, I think that dankness really helps it out. But as a four out of five, I would like to see some more flavors in there. But yeah, definitely a good beer. And thanks to No Hype for sending this to Jessica. So if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. And until next time, happy brewing. <laughs>